Howdy, I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and today we're gonna be talking about how to put an entity from Blockbench into your game. So we've got these dragon lizard things that we've got in Blockbench, and we've got it in a <clears throat> blocky format. So we're ready to go, and we've got it at 64x, or it's going to cause you problems. And so we've got him, and then we've got a few animations. We've got an idle, a fly, a coast, and a death. Okay, and then we've got, uh, we need to make a pack. So let's run through how to make your pack really quick. I've already got mine made, but we'll just run through it. So, up in here, we have Add Pack, Edit Pack, Remove Pack. So you can say Add Pack, and then you can say, like for me, it's OLC. The OLC should be what your identifier is. That should be unique to you and your studio. So I'm outlandishly crafted, so I'm L -L -L OLC. And then we've got, what are we going to call this? Uh, lizard... Uh, dragon, you know, pack or whatever you want to call it. And then we can put in a description. So you'd say like outlandish, outlandishly crafted lizard dragon pack. And then you can put in a version, a website description, and then the author, Cyberax, and your email and all that stuff, right? And then we save it. And now we have this new lizard dragon pack that we can put stuff in and mess with stuff, right? And then the next step is you need to close the game and move that uh, let me see. So right now, what we just created is inside your save, inside your world. I'm just calling my world day one. Inside mods, and now you've got this lizard pack. And the reason why we did that is because it just made your manifest for you and like set up the pack and everything. So we can copy that back into your global mods folder. And there we go. Now we need to put our assets in. So our model assets go in. You can see we have our pack name and then we need a common folder. Then we need an NPC folder. We need a dragon folder. And then whatever our NPC is. So this is OLC lizard dragon. And then in there, we're putting our blocky model, our texture, and our animations. Okay. And then under the server, we'll have our roles, which I'm using, I was using the golem, but we switched it to the test dragon. We're going to have our roles. And then we're going to have a asset manager file and those are going to tie together okay so we have now inside our global mods a lizard dragon thing and then those folders created and so i'm just going to take and grab these and paste them in here And before we go farther, I'm gonna delete the item because we're not gonna do anything with that. So, then we're gonna go back out of here. We can close the asset manager and we need to go out of the game. And now we're gonna apply that mod to this world. Right now we just created it, but we did, we moved the, the actual mod back to the global so we're going to go to world right click and now here we're going to turn this on 
save, and then start it. So now we've created our our first plugin mod, not plugin, our first mod, and or add-on, and now we need to put something in it. We put some models in it, but we actually need to first off give ourselves op. So we're gonna slash op self, and that's gonna give us the right to open up the asset editor. Now, once we have the asset editor, you should see your lizard dragon pack, and then you should see the hightail pack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find a boss to start with and to, to get everything going. So the first thing is we'll set up our model asset file. And so you could go find like the golem or under test, uh, there's some test ones, or under, where did they, they, they hit it somewhere. Um, there's a test, test dragon. Uh, that's under the rolls though. So where do they put the, Snapdragon, oh, dragon right here. Okay, so you can take this guy, the, the fire dragon. We're going to right click. I'm going to duplicate him. And he's going to automatically jump into one of our packs. So that's the pack we want. And then we could say, well, what is he? He's an OLC um, lizard dragon. Now notice that the first character's have to be uppercase is O and then anything after underscore so the L and the D have to be upper uppercase so now we've got our model asset file and we're gonna hit create and here we are so we've got our OLC lizard dragon it, we're not this one was the one I did in the boss as my test so now we're gonna come in and we need to click our pack and this is the where the common f uh, folder goes and then we're just gonna go through and go grab the blocky model and same thing we're gonna grab our pack we're gonna browse through and get our texture right and then we're gonna go down to animations and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna open up the animations we're gonna go through we're gonna select our pack we're going to browse to our dragon folder. We're going to find the right animation, which is idle. And then we're going to just keep doing the same thing. So we're going to go down and we're going to go fly. Now fly has two. So you do the same thing. Click, 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 and fly. And then it also has a, a glide, which I called coast because I can't name things properly ever and so we go coast and then you could also put these on uh, loop put that one on loop and then I also have a death so we'll come in here and we'll grab the death okay so now we have all of these guys set up. Um, you could mess with the hitbox and the camera and the attachables and all that, but I just want to get through the basics. So we have all that stuff. The next step is we need a NPC role and the NPC role doesn't have like a nice little wizard thing. Um, so you can't get it in the editor view. You can only see it in the source view. So what we want to do is we want to go find something really similar to what we're going to do so we don't have to customize this right now. So we're going to jump over to the Hightail side and we're going to say, this is where we're going to say the Test Dragon because they already have this NPC role Test Dragon in here. So we'll grab the Test Dragon 
<clears throat> we're just going to control A to select all, copy, and then we're going to go back to our lizard and but we're going to go to NPC, NPC roles, and I already created the folder so you would have to you have to right click in here and make uh, a folder for it is that not an option I don't see an option to make a folder find folder oh <clears throat> create NPC fo no this is create NPC role in a folder uh, I'm not sure you might have to just create it there unless you go and make it a full I'm not sure how to make a folder yet I haven't got that far so either way <clears throat> Uh, we have a file here, and I am just going to paste. So I'm going to delete this and paste in mine. And then for the appearance, we want to use the model asset one that we did before. So this guy. So we're going to apply that. We're going to grab this dude's name. This dude's, this dude, this dude's name. Then we're going to come back to Golem and we're going to put him in there. I'm going to apply. We close all these. And now we should have in here. Uh, let's see. So you would, if you don't have the tool yet, you would go tab, and up here, uh, the fourth one, you have Entity Grabber Tool. Grab that and put that in your bar. Then when you have it in your bar, hit E. And now under NPCs, we want to look for Dragon or, uh, you know, we said it was a lizard. Uh, and so we, oh wait, I spelt lizard with a do OLC. So we have OLC dragon and then we spawn one. Uh, but you can see oh there he goes. Then you, ha you have this guy. So then he can go let's see if I do that E now, a few times I kept clicking model, and it spawned a model, but that's, that would be without a brain. So you've got to go with the NPC so that you've got the right, the right one. Um, also, I've seen multiple times now where you need to quit, uh, quit the world and then come back in for it to update for us to get the, li the lizard one. So we left, and we come back in. I wonder if I have to name those the same. I don't think so. So we E, lizard. No, I just used the same name for both of them. My bad, I should have separated them. Oh shit, no. It doesn't show... Yeah, I, I think I angered it. I, I angered it. So we're going to go back to here, and we're going to take off... The template one, so we only have this one. Then we'll start it again. And see if it's going to show up or not. Now, if it disappears like that, it's typically because the JSON's wrong. Or one of those names is wrong. Like, the name I put in there doesn't match what it should be. So you just go back and check what your... I don't see any of them flying around. Go back and check your names and make sure that you didn't mess up a name. So if we come in here and we look, yeah, I don't see any it in there. So we're gonna go, this is where then we got a diag. So we go to asset editor, and we go look at our, our lizard guy. 
And we here, we've got him set as Lizard Dragon, but I don't know. I wonder if it's because I have this in here still. So this is the Lizard Dragon. I wonder if they have to be the same name. Warning, renaming assets will not change the ref reference to it in other JSON files? Oh, man. That's not cool. I, the, the, like, copy-paste does not work properly. Okay, so appearance is correct. You got that. It doesn't say it's not a valid file. We have our assets in here. Those look good. We've got our, this guy. And it's weird that he doesn't have a name or anything. Like he, he you, you just like connect him from. And this one we can see in the editor. So the the tops here now one of the things I did see you can see the loads here one of the fun things is if you hit use it makes it come you uh, the dude so that's kind of fun you still have the armor on and stuff so now if we take off flying the little lizard dude and then if you want to get out of it you can go tab creative tools world um let's see which one was it was it change player and then reset and then you go back to being you again but that's kind of a fun one too so let's try it again so let's say dragon OLC lizard dragon spawn and then he's gonna fly off now he does seem to be like kind of in the ground a little um, maybe he needs to just in block bench be lifted up just a little or maybe his hitbox needs to be changed um, he doesn't have a walk right now and you can see that he he, he does a takeoff but the fly animation's working. Oh, I, and I got rid of my gun, so I can't shoot him. Shoot, that was in the other pack. I'm sure that it's gonna be hard to hit him with a bow and arrow. But there you go. That's how we get an entity from block bench into the game with a behavior. Uh, granted, we're using a template behavior that's already in there, but this would get you started because a lot of the animals and a lot of the stuff are already there. You really only need those two files so far as it looks like um, to get started. So there you go. That's how to get started with uh, moving and putting in your own stuff into the game. Uh, again, it's this tool, it's E and it brings up your, your menu. Then we can say dragon. And then we could even say, uh, you know, 15 of them. Then they'll get stuck and then they'll try to figure out what to do. It's really fun and it's, it's not very hard and the tools will get a lot better. Um, the fast, you know, the more time we have, so. Uh, again, I'm CyberX without wonderfully crafted, and this has been a guide on how to get your block bench NPCs, in this case a little lizard dragon thing, into the game, flying around, and somewhat interactable. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, come join us in the Discord. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and keep those YouTube overlords happy. Hey, if this guide has helped, and you haven't bought the game yet, but you're going to use my code CyberX, it definitely helps us out. Thanks for watching.